some words about Boys in the Hood, a phenomenal movie included on the New York Times' best 1,000 movies ever made list, and especially poignant, relevant, meaningful, uh, now that America is in turmoil, turmoil after the death of uh, George Floyd, yet another, yet another victim of police brutality, Afro, Afro-American, African-American victim of brutality. Uh, nonetheless, Boys in the Hood doesn't... I'm trying to think here. I was trying to say doesn't deal so much with white injustice. I mean, injustice uh, which has African Americans victims of of let, let me follow him. I, I need to see what he's doing so that he doesn't destroy something there or attacks the cat. I'm not sure if you see there's a ah I think you do. Uh if you're watching this, which you are not. <laughs> um so not not not, not the brutality of Whites, the police nowadays mostly. Well, not only. There was that jogger in Georgia, I think, uh, who was killed by two white people. Men, that's mostly men. Even if there's the other incident of the woman who uh, threatened to call, the, but let's not get into that. Uh, the film, film is wonderful, but it deals more with Termina black on black violence. Indeed, it starts by saying that black people, mo the young black people, uh, are mostly likely to die because uh, they have been shot dead by uh, some other African Americans. Um, and we have some excellent acting. Uh, director, writer, uh, Regret it has died. Uh, it's also wonderful. And Singleton. And um, John Singleton. And then we have Cuba Gooding Jr. We have uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Ice Cube. Uh, uh, tremendous cast. Termina. A group of people living, uh, that live in, in, in black neighborhoods. Indeed, Termina. The character of La Lawrence Fishburne one of the most rational in there, um, is insisting that they should keep this neighborhood African-American, just like Koreans, Haitians do, and other minorities, because he's speaking about what the whites do. So they're not absent from the story. Uh, in fact, that's one of the points where we get the message, we get the reason for the wrongdoing for what what is happening in I'm shooting this minority individual with water so that he doesn't scream to high heaven or dark hell and um, so um, he, he's, he's mentioning the fact that they try and move in and then alter the market price for the houses and then they can get evicted. It mentions the fact that there's a liquor store or at every corner. The fact that, yes, stones are dealt and, and, and used, alas, by African-American communities. But who's bringing them in? They don't have the planes. They don't bring them in the country. So indeed, it's a complex issue. We will not deal with this here. The film touches on this. Uh, it's it's in the history of cinema. Indeed, I've seen some documentaries in which there are scenes, like the one where the Cuba Gooding Jr. is is almost arrested and abused by, of all people, uh, an African American cop who who likes the power, who, who wants to show it, and his his. Um, rather despicable because. We've seen him before. The scene is also in those documentaries when he comes to the house called by Lawrence Fishburne, the father, and he's 
they're late, African American and white policemen, two in a patrol, and um, they don't treat the matter with the seriousness it needs. But furthermore, and very serious and gravely, the black cop says something like, uh, "Well, you didn't kill. There was a potential robber." Fishbone shoots through the door, and the guy escapes. Uh, you didn't kill the N-word? Ah, oh, it's a pity, because it would have been better to, to have him uh, killed, something like that. Uh, excellent, wonderful movie.